Hello, this is Vijay Kumar from Naresh Technologies. In today's session, we will see how to use bind parameters in uh, reports. Okay. So, while creating the reports in report builder, how to use bind parameters, what is the importance of using bind parameters. Like uh, we can also uh, declare parameters in uh, SQL. When you are writing a query, you can also declare the parameters in SQL. So, we can declare the parameter and we can enter the value at runtime in SQL. So, like suppose for example, see I am writing a query like this, select star from EMP where employee number equals to ampersand EMP and O. So, I am declaring a variable here. So, the variable is prefixed with ampersand yet, ampersand EMP and O. This variable is called substitution variable. So, after running this, it will ask enter value for employee number. Okay. So, it is asking value for employee number. I input some value 7369, then ampersand EMP and O is replaced with 7369. Now, this query will fetch only 7369 record. Again, run the query. So, again it is asking employee number 7499. So, then ampersand EMP NO is replaced with 7499 and this query is executed like this. select star from EMP where employee number equal to 7499 and this query will fetch only 7499 record. Okay. So, this is how to use uh, variables in uh, SQL, but same thing I want to implement in uh, reports, report builder. Then, if we want to pass values at runtime in report builder, we use parameters. Okay. In SQL, we use it uh, variable, but in uh, reports report builder, we use parameters. Okay. In report builder, parameters are two types. So, what is parameter means? We can declare the parameter and we can pass values at runtime. Okay. We, we can declare one parameter and to that parameter we can pass value at runtime. So, in report builder parameters are two types one is system parameter and another one uh, user parameters. So, some parameters are uh, already declared by system those parameters are system parameters and some parameters declared by user they are called user parameters. The parameters we declare they are called user parameters the parameters which are already declared by system are called system parameters. Some examples are there system parameters, one is copies, thousands, desk type, desk format. Okay. So, there are system parameters and next, so we will see user parameters okay. and user parameters are again two types. Okay. User parameters are two types, one is bind parameters and the second one lexical parameters. So, in report builder you declare two types of parameters one is bind parameters another one lexical parameter. So, in this class we will see bind parameters in another session we will see lexical parameters. Okay. Then, so what is bind parameter? Okay. What is bind parameter? So, bind parameter replaces a value. Okay. We declare a bind parameter and the bind parameter replaces what one value. For single value you go for bind parameter like so let us see one example. Okay. Suppose I will create one report just see this I will create one report I am creating a report I want to create the report using report wizard ok. Next I am taking a tabular report next <coughs> SQL statement. So, I am writing the statement select star from EMP, select star from EMP. So, click next. So, it is asking the username and password Scott Tiger at the rate server. So, click connect. So, I want to display all the fields next, 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 finish. So, a report is created. So, this report will show all the employees data. When this report is run, so, it is showing all the employees data. Okay. 
So, this is showing all the employees data, but I do not want to show all the employees data. I want to see only the specific employees working for specific department. I want to see only the employees working for specific department. Uh, I want to give this department number at run time. So, if I enter the department number 30 at run time, so I want to show only the employees working for 30th department. So, if you uh, enter department number 40, then it should display only the employees working for 40 department. So, I want to input this department number at run time and I want to see the list of employees working for specific department. So, then what we have to do is just go to this so every report for every report uh, contains mainly two one is data model another one layout model. In one of the uh, session I explained this data model and uh, layout model how to prepare layout model how to create a query ok. Then so here I created report using report wizard. So, this query is automatically created ok, but actually when you run this report it is showing all the employees working for uh, all the departments, but I want to see only the employees working for specific department and even I want to input the department number at run time. Then so create a uh, parameter, how to create a parameter? So, where you declare this parameter? You declare this parameter in uh, query ok, you declare the parameter in query. See I am taking this query, this is the query double click this and this query opens select star from EMP this is the query. So, I want to modify this query because I do not want to see all the employees working for specific department. So, select star from EMP where department number equals to colon dnvo. So, here this colon dnvo is called bind parameter. So, every bind parameter should be prefixed with colon operator. So, this colon dnvo is bind parameter and this bind parameters are replaced with value and this bind parameters are prefixed with colon operator. So, after running this report it will ask enter value for dnvo. So, whatever the value input so uh, then this dnvo is replaced with that value. Suppose at run time if I enter 30 this colon dnvo is replaced with 30. If I enter 40 then this colon dnvo is replaced with 40. So, let me create this report ok then. So, see that what it is saying is the query key 1 has created the bind parameter dnvo next ok. So, after this next so you compile this report compile all then ok. So, the compilation is successful uh, next run this report ok. So, go to this uh, layout model. So, the layout is already prepared then next I want to run this report. So, click this one run button click this run button see that. So, when you run this uh, report it is asking the value for dnvo suppose I input value 20 and enter ok. Now, it will show only the employees working for 20th department ok. So, it is showing only the employees working for 20th department and suppose for example, see again I will run this report next it, it will ask enter value for dnvo suppose I enter this time I enter 30 next run this. So, it will show only the employees working for 30th department. So, whatever the department number you entered at run time, so it is showing only the employees working for the department ok. So, and this is the importance of creating what bind parameter. So, to input the values at run time and based on that value you want to run the query ok. Then, but here actually ok when you run this report, so it is asking the department number, but what it is showing is it is showing a text box. You see that it is showing a text box, but here actually I do not know suppose uh, end user, end user may not be knowing uh, what are the actual departments, what are the department IDs, he may not be knowing it. End user, end user may not be knowing, so what are the department numbers. Instead of uh, uh, we input the department number, I, I want to show the list of department numbers available and from that list, so uh, let the end user to select one department number. Show the list of departments available and from that list, so uh, let the end user to select one department ok. Then how to provide the list of department members? To provide the list of department members now see, so here 
this is the report this is the report in this report there is a parameter so you see this there are two system parameters and user parameters so the dno is created under user parameters select this dno so go to properties go to properties in this properties so there is a property called list of values there is a property called list of values in the list of values so select this list of values so when you select this list of values there are two options here one is static value another one select statement okay so if you select static value you need to uh, provide the values if you say select statement you can fetch values from database so first we'll see static values next we'll see select statement so static values suppose i am giving first 10 so add there are uh, four departments so 10 20 30 40 then next 30 add 40 add so i added four departments so i added four departments now click ok click ok and and also this type is not character type and this parameter type is number okay parameter type is number then next so just let me run this report i am running this report now see this now it is not showing the text box in some showing the text box it is showing list box drop down list so from this drop down list select one department 30 suppose run this report then it will show only the employees working for 30th department okay then so this is easy for the end user instead of e input you can select okay then suppose here here the problem is sir uh, at the time of creating this uh, list uh, we manually given the values static values 10 20 30 40 so suppose if new department is added then uh, again you have to come to this report you have to add the department like there is a new department is added with the department id 50 then again you have to come to this report you have to add that 50 so and this will be complex so every time so the data changes in department table so you have to come to this report you have to make the changes so instead of that like you write a select statement to fetch values from department table so in the previous example you selected static values in some static values then you uh, select a statement you write a select statement see for example dno so go to property palette in the property palette so list of values in the list of values so instead of adding these values see i am removing these values next is select statement select select statement then so write the query to fetch department numbers from department table what that is select department number from department select department number from dept then click ok okay select department number from dept click ok now so in the previous example i selected the static values then now i am selecting the select statement now provide the select statement so to display the department numbers it will execute this query whatever the values written by this query these values are added to the list box now ok then so close this now save this report and run this report then suppose here um, see these are the values that is fetched from department table now i am selecting 30 now click this run now so it will show only the employees working for 30th department okay then so this is how to create what bind parameter but in this example we created only one bind parameter not only one bind parameter you can also create multiple bind parameters okay you can add one more bind parameter also for example see go to this right then so here go to this layout uh, data model editor so in this data model editor select this and go to uh, double click this 
So, this query opens. You already declared one bind parameter. I want to declare another bind parameter. End. So, salary suppose greater than colon sal. So, I want list of employees working for specific department earning more than some salary. Working for specific department earning more than some salary. Then, so click OK. Click OK. Salary. Click OK. So, when you click OK, then it is saying the query key 1 has created another bind parameter salary. OK. So, here two bind parameters are created. One is department number, another one salary. Suppose, so let me uh, compile this report, uh, compile, compile all, ok, next run this report. So, see after executing this report, it is asking the value for department number and also asking the value for salary. So, department number is 30, department number is 30, next uh, suppose here salaries, I entered salaries 2000. That means, the query is executed like this, select star from EMP where department number equal to 30 and salary greater than 2000. So, what is that query done? Employees working for specific department earning more than 2000 salary. Next, see this, run this report. But in the table, there is only one record satisfy this condition. So, that employee is what? Blake salary is 2850 is working for 30th department. Okay? So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.